Jeff Reiser here. Today we're going to learn how to properly gap spark plugs. I just pulled a plug out of my 2000 Silverado right here. Nothing special. I have right here in my hands a spark plug gapping tool. There's also a picture above this video on the webpage just so you guys have a closer look of what it is. If you look closely, there's little, little marks on the the gapper tool and those go in increments of one thousandth of an inch. The gap on a 2000 Silverado spark plug is .050 which is right here. So what you'll do is there's a lip right here where you'll put the spark plug in right there like so and you'll run it gently around the side until you meet resistance. I've met resistance right at 0 .052. So in order to, we have to close the gap up on the spark plug. So what I like to do is I'll take the spark plug gapping tool and I'll just give it a quick little tap like that and it'll close it up for me. So now, right there we're a little bit shy we're at 0 0.047 you always want to read the spark plug gapping tool on the far side because that's the thickest edge and that's where you're going to get your proper reading of your gap so now we don't have the proper gap a lot of spark plug tools they'll have a little hole right here that actually has a lip that you can put this end of the spark plug in and you can actually pry it and open up the gap this one doesn't have that what we have on this one this little beveled edge right here as you see what you do you take the spark plug put it in there and you just wiggle it a little bit like that and kind of give it a little pry up and down to try to, try to get the spark plug gap to where you want it and I gapped it too far so you just go back give it a little tap try it again still a little too much another tap Perfect. Right on 0 .050. Make sure you check with your uh, operator's manual about proper gapping for your vehicle because every vehicle is different. Any questions, see my contact information page and shoot me an email. Have a nice day.